and we're back. So, we just got a shiny new Master Sword. Uh, look at this thing, look at this, look what I can do with this. Now, in the previous episode I mentioned how I beelined it to this thing because I want an indestructible weapon. Well, that's true and that's false in a, a variety of ways. Particularly, the Master Sword, while you have it forever, and uh, it now takes up a slot in your inventory, I think it actually add one. It doesn't make you, like, try and drop... Uh, what am I doing? Try and drop a weapon, I think it just... Yeah, it permanently gives you one. Also, I didn't have... Oh, maybe... I don't know. Um, but, basically, it does have a durability to it. If you use it enough on non, uh, like, Calamity enemies or uh, uh, Guardians, it will depower. You have to let it recharge for 10 real world minutes, which is, it's, I mean, that's a long time, man. 10, 10 real world minutes is like enough time to finish one of those, uh, Divine Beasts. However, of course, in the Divine Beasts, you get it powered up in its perfectly optimal state at 60 damage. The base sword just does 30, which is a good weapon in itself, and if you're in a pinch, you can, you can pull it out and use it. It's actually pretty all right. I have a lot of bow slots. I didn't realize I had that many. It's been a while. Um... Now, I was talking about how I was uh, rating Zelda games over one another in the last episode, and the reason why I wanted to talk about that was because of music, and because I was trying to think about how this game, there's there's so much ambience and very little memorable music, and why I rated some of the games in the orders I did is because they had such memorable music that made me fucking love them. Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker, I feel, have the best music of the Zelda franchises. Franchise, that's one thing. Yeah, I can't do nothing right now. Um... But this game, the, like, the music it has is good. I, I kind of like the, the somber feel it has going for it, but otherwise, there's really not a whole lot in terms of... Well, I guess just kind of like, it's just all, it's just all ambiance and, and not a whole lot of theme to it. But like, in the cutscene in the last episode with Zelda, Zelda's lullaby played, or, you know, you get little bits of Epona's song at the stables, that sort of thing. Cast the bird accordion man will play... Classic Zelda tunes. It's all very strange. But, it's, it's grown on me for sure, but if you try to tell me, like, hey, name a tune from Breath of the Wild, I'm like, uh, the Piano Guardian song. Either way. Now, going back to the Master Sword, when I found out that this thing does still have a durability, an imposed durability to it, I was kind of pissed a little bit because I hate weapon durability in video games because that means the game is realistic and by gum, I hate realism in video games. I, in, in, in the context of Elder Scrolls games, I like Oblivion more than I like Skyrim, regardless of how many hours I put into either, more being Skyrim. I like Oblivion because it's just, it's, it's quirky, it's fun, I have a lot of memories with it. But the one thing that will always be a favorite of mine in those games is uh, in Skyrim, in that weapon durability is no longer an issue. In Oblivion, your weapon armor breaks, whatever, yeah, you gotta get rid of that shit repaired. Hey buddy, what do you want? Sleepy time. Oh, you you can't give me the, the quest? Yeah, fine, go away. I don't want to take a quest anyway, but in Oblivion, yeah. weapons invulnerable. They they break. Who gives a shit? They don't break at all. I'll take rhubarb too. Thank you very much. Let's go. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that sort of thing. And I don't like micromanaging that sort of thing because I hate realism. Far Cry 2. You shoot a gun for like a minute straight. If you have the ammo for it, the gun will blow up. It'll just break. Far Cry 3. Who gives a shit? Just fire a gun forever, dude. It's a game, man. So, that's why I was very, like, initially very like, Oh, what? And weapon durability in a Zelda? There was a kind of a system of that in uh, Skyward Sword, actually, where you had to craft and upgrade your shields, because um, they had durability. And as such, that just kind of led to a gameplay style where I never even used my shields until the final boss fight of that game, where I had to. But, also, you could get the, the, um, the Hylian shield, and it had basically... It was invulnerable, it was. I would say basically it was invulnerable. So I'm like, alright, there's a reason to get that because this thing is cool as hell, and... Do you hear that? Oh, we're gonna be going through Guardian Town, that's for sure. Alright, Rhubarb, stay with me, dude. Okay, let's just take a quick peek at my map here. I should probably want to be over there. I don't know if I want to be right here right now. Huh. Yeah, sorry bud, taking the detour. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about weapon durability and how in this game, so DLC has been announced for this game, uh, there's a list of it now, it's, it's coming out soon-ish I think. One, 
of the uh, the DLC options is I think it's called the Master Trials or something, which basically it's a series of uh, series of like trial like things I suppose if the name implies that you can use to. Okay, I'll bite. What's your game? But basically, you can go to this thing, and from what I believe, you can use to permanently upgrade the Master Sword and make it uh, invulnerable. Who's slacking off? What's up, man? Yeah, let's just shield surf. Your best bud. I was I read that as best stud, and I got very confused. Nah. Your vibe doesn't need my help, dude. It's cramped enough. Let's go, Ruborbi! Riborbio, my horseio, Riblabio. Either way, man, all I'm saying is weapon durability. Catch me outside with that shit. I'll kick your ass. Is it cold? I don't think it's that like, cold. No, it's not cold. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is I'm in. Oh, I'm in uncharted territory. I don't know if my horse can go over this stuff. Either way, I want that luminous stone deposit. I want it very bad. Thank you very much. Now, I'm not ignoring that shrine, I have it marked on my map for later. Um, and now that I have the Master Sword, I can go back to grinding and getting stamina orbs and more health stuff, because, uh... Well, the thing I wanted to grind initially to do was to get the Master Sword, and I having done that, I can say, Listen, guys, I'm just gonna grind to beef up Linko so we get to the final boss fight. Whoops. It'll all be alright. Okay, that was a inopportune place to be for you, I'm afraid. Oh, why do you gotta send that luminous stone all the way over there? Give me that. So I'm using my Master Sword right now because I have not changed the weapon as of yet, but uh, not the greatest weapon to be using on just random enemies, especially ones that can die in two hits. Oh. Keep an eye out for uh, just plain old green Lizalfos. <coughs> Excuse me. Plain old green Lizalfos. Keep an eye out for them because I need them to upgrade my armor. I plan to be a walking tank as soon as possible, and uh, we're well on our way. Look out, Krabbies! Now, in my previous file, this... Oh, good, another one. Alright, I'll bite. What's your deal? Traveler. Oh, of course you are. Oh, Banana Merchant! I have not seen this guy yet. Pass. You... something's wrong with your voice. I'm pretty sure you are styled to be female, but because you are a ninja, that begets... I don't know. Either way. Yeah, take my life, dude. Let's go. Take my life into pieces. This will be quick. Oh, I didn't jump soon enough. That's on me. You got a hit off. Lucky you. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Uh, swing that way too. That's fine. This guy's like, oh, a ninja fight, huh? Cool. Oh, oh, he hates it. He's just leaving. Okay. Swung too late. I wanna. I just wanted to run into my axe. How about this? But we can't always get what we want. Yeah, so something they elaborate later on these Giga jerks. They love bananas. What the heck's that about? Right? Who likes bananas? I mean, I mean, they, they do obviously. Okay. Don't push rhubarb too hard. Why with the piano music? Whoa, 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 wait, whoa. Why are you all here? Who are you people? Cool. No, not you. Listen, listen, I appreciate it. What? Oh, this is all bad news. Rhubarb! Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go, dude. We gotta go. Fast as the lightning. Man, this place is just going to the dogs. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm sorry to have to do this to you, buddy. 
And I'm sorry I have to waste this on you. Yeah, well, we're gonna just quickly get away from that for real quick then. Jesus, night time! What am I doing? What am I doing? Put that down. You, enough of that shit. Did I roll? Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, with this arrow, I can do many great things. Well, that's a big weapon you got there, dude. But, size and everything. That is a good weapon, though. I want that. Oh, it's awful tail. Oh shit, is that what I need? Might be. Uh, might be, might be, might be. Okay, this is good, this is good. We're, we're in the right place. Okay. Um, my horn can pierce the sky. I don't know if you fall faster in the rain or not. I'm inclined to believe that you do. Oh, look out, dude. Man, you guys are just very lucky. Yeah, sure. Whoops! He just moonwalked his way out of here. Okay, I've used two. I can get away with using another one, I think. Oh, no! Climb it, no! Okay, we got Ice Boy, we got Luminous Stones, we got you jackasses. Wait a second. Wait a second. I know how to do with this. Dead. Correct, idiot. Just gonna go ahead and cause some problems here real quick. Yeah, don't mind me. Frame rate, who needs it? Listen, guys, this has been fun, but I really do need to harvest this ice deposit, so if you don't mind, it's just kind of... Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Goodbye. And you can fall over, too. There we go. Uh, horn, arrows, nothing. Whoa. Something. Nothing. Oh, but we're so close to a cliff, they're not going to make it. What can I do? 38, that's a high damage weapon. I don't want to knock them off. This will do. No, Link. Perfect. Okay. I don't need to do it again, but I probably should do my Revali scale up here. But this is just a ladder, and I can climb it as such without having to worry about slipping. Let's go! Ho! And a boy Link. Yeah, fuck it. Schwarp. Again, I'm here with the speedrun strats. This is what you're here for. I look at the minimap and I see Rhubarb's little horse icon and I get really upset. I really wish I didn't bring Rhubarb all this way just to leave them there. But, I... Whoa, hello. Didn't know anyone else was here, don't mind me. I realize I've come all this way because I know how to get here. With, uh, by missing a bunch of the, I wouldn't say, well, they're optional, of course, but, um, there are guides, I suppose, people that, when you enter this area, they're like, oh, hey, you should come to go see this guy, you should go see the, the prince, uh, you should go see Pringles, uh, in fact, I wonder if I can get to Zora's Domain without even seeing the Pringles, uh, it's a very distinct possibility, triple! This is a big boy province. And we got a lot of walking to do. Oh. 
Neat. All right, I'll bite. What's up, dude? Groove. He's by orders of Pringles side on. Oh, so you were stuck on the tower when it rose. What an idiot. I am a Hylian. I would say that. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think he can hear you. Oh, you can't dive in? You can't? Watch. Watch me dive. Watch me jump off this cliff. You're a pot! See you later, dude. Oh! Not that I misjudged that, but that could have been severely bad for my health. Those raspberries? Might be. I'm just gonna mark this one on my map and come back to it later again. Oh, a hearty radish, that's good. Hello! Ooh. Tofu. I am a hireling, yeah, what's going on? You people keep saying that, what's with this lucky day nonsense? Yeah, yeah, apologize to me. Your guy Pringles, he, he, what's he about? He's just down there? Oh, I see him. I see the shark man, okay. I'll go talk to Pringles, I suppose. What's good, homeboy? Say hey there, young one. Up top, above you. That seemed unnecessary. You and I both know that. What's up, Pringles? Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. <laughs> That's all the lines we could record, so now we gotta do this in text. <laughs> well, that's cool. I like your nose. It also is your eyebrows? Quite frankly, I like the I like the Zora redesigns in this game. They look really cool. I just don't understand why they all have dolphins or sharks on their heads or manta rays. That's like a weird Pirates of the Caribbean guy is fused with a crab kind of thing, and I don't know if I like that. That's right. Let's go. So Sidon's like, listen, man, the the beast, the divine beast elephant is uh, raining. It's just making so much rain that you can't climb. So you got to walk all the way up the river like a jerk. And I'm like, that's cool and all, but, uh, but listen, man, me, I'm a boy. I'm a boy, man. I'm the boy, man. You got to understand. Electrolyte, sir. I'm going to need that. Well, actually, I'm not going to, depending on how well the encounter goes, but I'm going to need that, so without further ado. So he's like, I believe in you! I'm hype! I'm the commoner of this game. Uh, <laughs> references. So he's like, just go, go, please, go turn off the water. Come on, man. We, we can live in this shit, but it's probably not good for anybody in no-go. That's the name of Azora from Majoro Mask. All right, ready? Speedrun techniques. Oh, wait, I need to kill you for your items. Put that down! You pick up that rock and there was a blue rupee underneath it, and I realized monsters probably don't. Rhubarb 2 isn't able to co- Oh, that's right, because Rhubarb 2 is a long way away. I need your tails! Hey! I need this guy to come over here. Yes, yes, good, good, good. Come, come here. Come to me. Well, this is embarrassing. Horn, horn, horn. I need a tail! No respect. No respect at all. These, uh, these Octoroks, kind of the biggest problem around here, because they just keep shooting rocks everywhere. And they have really good aim for things that have little tiny stupid eyes and a mouth. You know, they're not exactly the kind of life form you would expect to be particularly... Oh, yes! Hello, good sir! Oh. So basically, you'll just be walking away, and oh, rock right in my face! Great head trauma. Oh, another one, cool. But I have arrows now, so I guess I could probably try and deal with that. Oh, fuck this axe. Well, it's a particularly low tier axe, so I'm not worried about wasting it all that much. 
Uh, sword, I guess I'll break this shit up and then I'll grab that sword. Yeah, that's about right. Let's roll. Excuse me, sir, if you could just come over here. Groovy. What's up, homeboy? Ow. Listen, if you could just stop for a second. I don't like doing that all too much. Stasising them, then just to beat them up. But on certain enemies that move around too much, or when you don't have the greatest opportunity of attack, it is a very useful skill. Okay, what does it look like? Come on. There we go. Expect a lot of this. Yes. All in all, I imagine we're making pretty good time, or as much time as one good could make. You do not even... Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! What? There we go. Monstar. Die, monsters! You don't belong with Michael Jordan! Bunch of wood I don't understand. Whoa! <gasps> Pringles! What's up? How you doing? Yeah, how dare you? It's like calling me out of the moving vehicle when people like honk at you and like, I know who you are. You're also wearing a whistle around your neck. I never noticed that. That's interesting. How a lot of monsters, all of my fellows are anxiously awaiting you. Just pop the microphone. Just pop, pop, anxiously awaiting the microphone. Ha 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was, but... It making me laugh. <gasps> a gecko! Oh, I'm not doing my speedrun trick. This looks dumb as hell. See, it's, it's, a good, uh, it's a good thing that stamina governs so much more than just running, because uh, if you could just do this the whole way through the game, there'd be no reason to ever upgrade your stamina orbs. Please die. I don't ask much of you, I just need your tail. Ugh. Man, where are we? You know, I'm half inclined to just, uh... To just let Rivali's Gale recharge and just kind of foop away out of here. Whoop, nice shot. How high up the mountain do I have to go? Because I could just cut a whole lot of travel in half. Not a bad idea, actually. Let's go, uh, let's go investigate this. A hearty truffle and a cooking pot. Oh yeah, this is easily doable. What was that? I don't know. I, th I think a fox just ran into the, uh, the thorns and got bipped. Hmm. Quite a vantage point. Is that coral? Is this a well? Oh, you know what this is. Hmm, the frame rate is dropping. Ever so slightly. Why is your rock so special to you? Huh? Why? What does this rock mean to you? Because I'm going to take it away from you. This rock now belongs to me. Oh, whoops! Sorry, dude. Tweehee, I just hit you with a rock. Dope. Alright, where are we going? Probably gonna want to try and hit right here. Well, let's see how we do. Yep, might have overshot a little bit in terms of height, but that's okay. Which means we're gonna miss some precious Zora backstory. Deployable cover, the bastards. For example, this thing right here, this is some lore. This is the lore wall. You scan this, it goes in your Chozo lore ruin, or Chozo lore log. So 
So this tells the story of a king and the Zora armor and the Zora helm, which, uh, oh, I'm not wearing a weapon. Excuse me a second. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Water, huh? Oh, electricity. Tail, 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 tail. Fuck! I should be standing in water! Just give me a second. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of food? A lot, actually. More than I had anticipated. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. You know, I got a couple steaks sitting at home. I should really go and dig those out. Okay. See, so yeah, all these guys are using lighting weapons. With all this water around, it's a bit of a problem. I'm not going to tell you that up front, but, uh, yeah. Jeez, you guys just do not like dropping your tails. I've, I've, I've touched geckos. They give their tails up the slightest, like, whatever. Like, oh, you came near me? Alright, tail's gone. What are you gonna do for me? Whatever. I don't care. Oh, you touched my you touched my, my arm? I guess the tail's gotta go. Nothing. What a rip off. Guess I can just throw this thing over the edge though, that'd be cool. I'm sure it's a long way down. Well, it just disappeared into the abyss. Guess that's cool too. Take a picture, let me to do that. Hmm. Whoops, whoopsies. Oh, oh no, Link! This is not my intention. This is not what I planned. Huh. Well, that looks like a cool thing. Don't know what that is. That's just more lore. Either way, this is not going to be enough to get me there. Oh fuck, I'm not going to be able to climb up. I have to go here, I guess. I guess. I guess. Either way, we're on track. You're supposed to fight a moblin on this bridge? Don't know where he is. Must be late for work. Like, oh shit, dude, Link's already at the bridge. What are we going to do? birds. This is cool looking. I like this kind of like weird bioluminescence jellyfish mantle place house. It's as scary as the ocean is big and the ocean is both scary and big let me tell you. This bridge is long what am I doing? Just fucking do this idiot shit. There probably should be music playing, but I don't know. <laughs> Not for very long, though, because I just shot through this place like a laser. Alright, well, it looks like we're going into Zoro's Domain next time on this video game. So, uh, thank y'all for watching. You've been a lovely crowd. We'll do it all again next time.